When Gwendolyn Brooks was only six weeks old, her and her family moved to Chicago, and she lived there for the rest of her life. Now, this happened during the Great Migration, which is why I chose that picture. We saw it earlier this semester, and it shows the Great Migration, and it has Chicago in that first window. So I thought it was relevant because it was during that time, and she, you know, you could imagine that she is one of those people herself. Gwendolyn actually thanked Chicago for her talent in writing. And in 1994, she had an interview and she was asked about Chicago and she said, Living in the city, I wrote differently than I would have if I had been raised in Tobeka, Kansas. I am an organic Chicagoan. Living there has given me a multiplicity of characters to aspire for. I hope to live there for the rest of my days. That's my headquarters. She believes that her life experiences and mindset are due to her experiences that are only authentic to life in Chicago and she couldn't really experience those times and issues if it wasn't for Chicago. Now she began writing at an early age and by the time she graduated high school in 1995, she had already had 75 poems published in the Chicago Defender and she received critique and commentary from many famous poets such as James Weldon, James Weldon Johnson Richard Wright, and Langston Hughes. 